Hello and welcome to this Mithril Money Excel library video in which we're going to be commenting Excel cells with VBA. First of all, I better show you what kind of thing I mean here. So let's bring up Excel and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at a file I created earlier. And here it is. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put some basic lines. It literally is one, two and three, but I'm going to put a sum there for this one. You can see the formula there, sum of C2 to C4. And what I'd like to do then is if I press Control J, I get a nice comment of that formula in that uh, in that field there. I can do this for any cell. You can see I've, because I've literally put one, two, and three in here, I get a very simple, uh, very simple comments. But um, you can drag the comment over here. What this can be very useful for is if you're writing a very big financial application spreadsheet, uh, you don't want to have to keep going to the uh, to the command line and going to the fields to see what the formulas are. It's nice just to see them kind of right in front of you like this, which is nice. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, it doesn't come standard with uh, with Excel. First of all, we need to get completely out of Excel to wipe away any macros that may be lingering in the background. So I do need to kind of get rid of all of this and we need to restart again. So let's start Excel again without any macros going. We'll open up a brand new workbook. Um, we'll scroll in a bit here because it's a bit hard for you to see perhaps. So the way to do that if you don't know is you press down the control button and then you, if you have a, a scrolling wheel on your mouse you just scroll in, you can scroll back again. It's easier than going to kind of view and zoom. Okay, let's uh, let's put our formulas in again. So one, two, and three. Uh, we'll put the sum of in there as well. And now, if we do Control J, nothing's happening because we haven't written the VBA necessary. Okay, let's do that then. Now, you may not have realised some of you, but uh, in the background of Excel, you've always had this is a complete programming environment. And this complete programming environment is VBA and the way to get to it, this hidden thing, it's like a it's like kind of magic, uh, mithril magic. You press down the Alt key, which I'm doing now, and then you press F11. And then that brings up this environment that's been hiding all that time. Now what we want to do here is we want to insert a new module. Now I have a little bit of code. I'm going to just paste the code in here that we need. Um, I have a little bit of code hiding here. I'm just going to, uh, on a sticky note, I'm just going to copy that and uh, come back to the main Excel program, paste that in. And you, there's the code there that's going to work. Now you might want to pause the YouTube video at the moment and write that down. Um, I'm going to let the budding programmers go through that and figure out what's going on rather than spend 20 minutes explaining how VBA programming works. Okay, now that should work. I'm going to save the program, uh, save this bit of programming now by pressing the save button. Save. Um, now I do want, um, I don't want an Excel workbook here. What I need is macro enabled workbook. So I need to pick macro enabled workbook and save that. Do, yes, I want to replace that. That's fine. Okay. Now I can close this uh, this um, Alt 11, or you can press Alt 11, but just close it. And this time, now if I go back to this field here and press Control, oh, I need to do a couple of other things. I need to go to the View tab, and then I need to go to Macros. And you can see now that we have that macro that I wrote which I named Andy's comment because I wrote it. You could have named that subroutine, that VBA subroutine, anything you want as long as it doesn't already exist. Um, I need to attach that uh, macro to a special command. I'm going to attach it to Control J because Control J doesn't tend to... Um, you might want to put a little comment in there as well, commenting Excel cells with VBA. And... Um, Press OK there, and that should now be linked. Cancel that. OK. Now, when I go to this field here and press Control J, I get my nice, neat comment up. Um, you know, you can do this lots of times. So if I put another formula in here, that equals that plus that. And if I now do Control J, you can see I've got a nice neat comment there of C2 plus C3. Now all that delete code and everything that you saw in the VBA, what that's for is this. If I go to this field and I change this formula, 
so instead of being C2 plus C3, it's now C2 plus C4. You can see that this comment is now wrong because the formula is C2 plus C4. The comment is C2 plus C3. Very easy, just go to the field, press Control J again, and away you go. I shall leave it as a homework assignment to anybody who wants to automatically update the comments every time a field changes. And that should be lots of fun for you with some VBA for those who like that kind of a challenge. Anyway, if that looks useful to you, um, this is the Mithril Money Excel library, and that was commenting cells with VBA.